Hello friends and welcome back to the Gamer Down Rift Beta Leveling Part 10. Already up to Part 10. Wow. Hard to believe, hard to believe, but I've been getting these out pretty, pretty quickly. And we're picking up this video exactly where we left off the last video, almost. I mean, just, you know, we're at the same point. I have two more Goblin Scouts, the elusive Goblin Scouts which uh, were pretty hard to find and uh, I just had a couple more of those guys to go then we can turn these quests in and sorry I had to uh, cut that last video short but as you saw they took the servers down and in, instead of just editing it all together I thought I'd just let you see everything as it happened to me I mean I, I like people I, I know that as for myself personally I like to see every little detail so I even really hate speeding the videos up, but I just, you know, I don't want to bore everybody to death. So, yeah, you know, I know that people have things to do, things to see. Even though you can uh, zoom ahead, you miss the narration. So that's the problem with not speeding the video up. So, but anyway, I, I try to take some time and let you see the sights as we move along through here because that's important, you know. I mean, watching these videos. You know, you get to pretend like you're playing the game yourself almost. And, I mean, there's a lot of things like, you know, like you, I'm sure you're thinking, man, would you just look that way or pick up this thing right here? But, no, you know, you don't have that kind of control. So, <laughs> so yeah, anyway, uh, we're finally getting back to the quest hub here. And uh, all kinds of interesting things happen. It might seem a little dull at first, but, you know. You see that automatic quest accepted there? And then it says the dialogue, a perfumed fog rolls into Silverwood. No, you're thinking uh, it's got to be Liza Minnelli. You know, that's who it's got to be. But no, nope. it wasn't her. It's a, it's an elf, a highly perfumed elf is coming into this area and he's starting trouble. But this is what is uh, pretty awesome about these, this game is there's spontaneous invasions, you know, in uh, on all the cities and there's these little ward crystals here and it, once the ward crystal falls then the area kind of falls like you see it right there the little crystal the blue one in the background well anyway if the monsters manage to take that thing down then uh, they take control of this area and I know this is beta though so I mean I, these events might be on on overdrive you know just so they can test them so I you, you'll have to see how the real game turns out it might be different it might not be as often but <laughs> uh, all last night it was just one after the next you know one invasion after the next invasion and like I said before you know thank goodness there was uh, quite a few people around to kind of take control of it and maybe that's that's what spawned all the invasions uh, all the people I'm not sure how exactly how they are triggered but it seems to have a little bit to do with the amount of players in the area and you see right there on the screen it says three ward stones remain and uh, and, and I, I just picked up a co you know the quest here you know the follow-ups to the quest we've just done and it was nothing really special to look at really uh, it just kind of leads you to the next area but this is how it goes um, it, I, you're in an area and the if a rift is left to itself, then the it will spawn spa spawn like this hands. crowd of mobs, like a boss, and you have to take the boss down, you and whoever's around. And if you don't, it'll go from oh, area to area to area, and you'll get the little alerts up on the screen in the white text. And you're, you're going to see here in just a few seconds what I'm talking about exactly. But first, I... I thought I was gonna. This this was my first inten intention was to uh, let you look around this area and to check out the vendors <laughs> and things like that. But you see, like Quicksilver College is about to fall, and that means that the main boss and monsters are at Quicksilver College, which is just right over the ridge. And you're gonna get to see quite a bit of Quicksilver College in the upcoming videos here. There's quite a, quite a few quests there, and. Uh, 
here I was just, uh, you know, moseying around, Feel and I wanted to look at all the neat, you know, things you could get with your plan planar, you know, and uh, there's this is the rare planar, and I, b I believe probably at higher levels there's probably epic items, and there seems to be epics all over this game all as well. People were linking in the chat what they'd gotten world drops or, you know, from a rift. So Until next time. there's lots of prizes to be had. And uh, as you can see, things are starting to get really ugly. You see that coming across the bridge right there? I, so I, I just blew off all the, you know, looking at the items just so, you can, so we could go check this out. And this is what I'm talking about. This is one of the uh, creatures that has like you know, a whole bunch of mobs following it. It's like the boss. And anyway, they, they make it into each area and try to destroy the ward stones. If they're successful, that area falls, and I guess it will stay that way until this boss is finally dealt with. And as you get to see here, people start to band together finally because the, the boss is, you know, he's messing with our deal here. He's trying to do quests. I think, you know, look, just look at the uh, the modeling on that boss. I mean, isn't that pretty awesome? I mean, that is one really cool thing about this game, is uh, there are some very unique creatures in this game. I mean, uh, very... Uh, things like I've never seen before in other MMOs before. There, there's some, you know, from, there's some of the old favorites and familiar, but there's lots of new things to see. So, and, and, and what I've also heard is, as you move along through this game, there's always new creatures to encounter. So that's... A definite plus to keep you under, keep you interested. And you, as you see, I hooked up with this little raid here. I mean, just look at all those people, man. It's and that, that that's what happens in these areas. People will band together and join the public public quest. But I mean, I was you know too dumb to do it at the time. So what they'll do is they'll join together and they'll move around and they'll you know get the rift mobs and then you know you get a lot of exp doing those sorts of things. But first, before I got all involved with that raid and everything like that, I wanted to show you these are things you right here. And uh, what they are, are ports. And this is your hearthstone. You uh, you bind your, uh, I guess it says you bind your soul or whatever. And uh, it's like, uh, it, it's it's like just exactly like a hearthstone. And it, it, another thing, it, it's, it's hearthstone, griffin travel, all in all in one you know so that this this is an uh, their actual innovation I haven't seen and but they, they managed to take uh, you know both both of those items and combine them and uh, let me tell you how that works okay uh, you buy you can bind to a port like you know the blue portal right here and you, you get this you see the, the uh, new spell I've got and that's basically your hearth and with that what it does is it you know takes you back to the, that place right there but you can also use that portal to go to other areas so it's also like a, a travel mecha mechanism it's a it's a griffin travel uh, you know I know I keep using WoW and there's probably maybe people watching this who've never played WoW so I'll try not to uh, lean too heavy on the WoW terminology but as you see here uh, I, I keep getting distracted by this just this enormous raid of people um, this is towards the end of the beta, and this is probably like I think this was on Saturday night, most likely. I'm real positive, and I finally decide to go ahead and join these guys, just so you guys can check out exactly what happens here. And you see these waves of mobs, and, and until you take out the the leader, the boss, you know, then then you seal the rift at least for that period of time. But uh, I don't like I said, I don't know if it was the beta that. They just seem to just keep coming and coming and coming. It's just a never ending ordeal. See, we killed the boss there, and it says invaders defeated. And this is just like a little bit of cleanup. And these guys seem to know where they were going, knew what they were doing or something. And, uh, I, you know, the, the beta's been around a while, so they probably do. And so I just tried to tag along and uh, get, a, get a little you know, view of what, what happens in this game get off the questing for a few minutes there's plenty more questing up and up ahead and, uh, as you see as as you kill every boss it it 
says the invaders are defeated. And I, I, I you know, I guess these, they're part of the rifts, or, you know, are they either just scripted events of invasion? Uh, but they seem to have something to do with the rifts as well. It's really hard to tell. I mean, the lore on this game is uh, pretty tricky. You know, you have to, you have to really get into it, into it to understand it. And uh, you know, that's not faulting the game. I, I mean, I actually, I, it, it's a, a compliment to the players that they think that you're intelligent enough to figure out the lore on your own. And, and hopefully, most people are. And. I think that people will rise to the occasion when, you know, they're given a challenge. Uh, you know, I think it's the dumbing down of games is one of the big problems, and it dumb, dumbs down the, the entire player base. I mean, <laughs> you are what you play, you know, just like you are what you eat. Just don't eat a game. That would be completely unhelpful. And as you see, I, I walked just right into uh, this gigantic mess here. Get completely annihilated. I tried to haul ass and get away, but no such luck. Uh, you know, then I, then I start chasing them back, and I don't know, uh, everybody was kind of dispersed at this time. Uh, I think everybody was waiting for somebody else to make the first move. So, anyway, there I went. And I, I lost, see, I, you lose your vitality, and that's like the durability in this game. If you're vitality gets down to zero it says you can take soul damage or I don't know it doesn't sound good I mean whatever <laughs> whatever soul damage is it, it sounds pretty permanent and it sounds kind of bad so. uh, and, and this is uh, you know part of my noobism and a part of everything else and having a little trouble seeing with this ghost filter on as well and, and all the environment kind of you know, looking a little bit similar to each other and I noticed that when the when the rift is out like this, and and how I'm auto accepting these quests, that the rift uh, quest is taking priority over my normal quests, and so I, I it it, ta it kind of takes all those quest markers off and just shows you like the rift markers, like you see there, it's showing the rift markers. And anyway, I, I did speed this up quite a bit so that you would ha wouldn't have to endure this long, painful walk as I've finally find my court. I was just about done with all this madness and I was just about ready to get back to the questing I was I was worried I was gonna get way too sidetracked and get way too far off but here is one of the main bosses for this invasion here as well and he, he looks pretty cool kind of a spin on pan and uh, can we all band together? But this this guy was one tough hombre. I tell you, I mean, I, I don't know if he was bugging out or what exactly was happening, but he becomes invulnerable at one point. I, I believe at this point right here. And <laughs> we're throwing everything we got out at this guy, and uh, he's just not budging an inch. I have to admit there are beautiful beautiful graphics in this game uh, but they did borrow quite a bit like you see the uh, portrait around the enemy right there and that is almost a identical copy from Lord of the Rings you know for the elite mobs there, so I won't fault them against the game because uh, it, it is a beautiful design and I guess uh, if you're gonna borrow you might as well borrow the best and you can see I've got the quest complete. See, I, I you get the auto, auto automatically get the quest. You know when you first start. You know I mean I, I don't know if it was part of the beta, but you would automatically accept the quest. And then you join the uh, public group, and you would go around and you can kill all the invaders. And, uh, I try to speed this up a little bit, you know, so you don't have to see every single bit. But you see the wolves there and. Uh, all the good stuff there and all the nice creature designs. I am impressed by the creature modeling and the designs. And uh, like I'd mentioned earlier, er, earlier, I'll try to get the words out here. Uh, you know, they're uh, quite unique. I mean, I, I think that, you know, somebody must have uh, dragged out a old Dungeons and Dragons book and 
modeled some things right directly from the book because I mean that, that that's what it kind of reminds me of. And uh, speaking of, I do have some of those old D and D books laying around, but we won't talk about that right now. And as you as you could see there, there was a life rift in the background. But anyway, I thought we'd just go ahead and skip all that nonsense and get back to uh, some of the things that we need to do here. Well, not nonsense. It was quite a bit of fun. And as you see here, uh, it has become nighttime. And look at all the really nice lighting effects. Isn't that beautiful? And you can see the fire effects. And that looks really well uh, against the darkness, the, the glowing and the fire effects. And I do speed up uh, more of the video. I, I try to let you see a little bit of the unique creatures and all that good stuff. And, uh, I, like I said, I'm impressed by the graphics quite a bit. And there I go. Level 10 already. It is just flown by, basically. But, you know, I mean, when when a game is brand new to you, you know, everything seems to go pretty, f you know, pretty fast. A little bit faster than if you're going through it again. And everything's, you know, new to you. I mean, even though I, it's a clone of so many games, I must, you know, it, you know, it's just the obvious facts. I mean, Rift has taken from uh, just about every MMO that's ever been created, but they took the best parts of them, so. You know that, that that's what you're supposed to do anyway. I mean, you're you know you build upon success. And here I just have to uh, slay a few of these guys. And uh, part of the little quest we're on right here that we'd left off earlier when I'd got so sidetracked with all those mobs and all those raids and all those rifts. But like I said, that was fun. So I have to collect the the totems and. I have to uh, defeat the named bosses. But, like, you see the little sparkling thing there. And what you do is, uh, you just, you know, you loot it. And it spawns the mob. The named mob. And you do that a few times. And there he is right there. And as I, I was uh, telling you that I would give you a few tips and tricks for MMOs. And uh, here's a little tip and trick. I mean, if, if the if the person around you doesn't feel like grouping, and you know, let's face it, most people just don't group for every single quest. Is when you see somebody doing the same quest you're you're on, if you be a, if you're just a little bit patient, and just let them go right ahead of you, and they'll clear out all the mobs for you, and then all you have to do is just stroll right in and do your part of the quest, and and you know, uh, they do all the hard work. So that's that's one little tip, if if uh, you want to call it a tip, I mean, maybe it's common sense. But like you see there, there's the guy who's been ahead of me, and he's been so nice to clear out all the mobs for me. Well, most of them, he didn't get those over there, but he killed out all the ones that were in aggro range, and that's what really matters. And as you'll see, here's the next named mob, and uh, they don't seem too happy that I'm here. And we're gonna make short work of these guys uh, it seems as I've reached level 10 that you know the combat's gotten a little bit better I'm able to you know I'm a little bit stronger got more talents and I've eventually you know, I've, I've finally got some more uh, spells and things to use and let's whiz through this pretty quick uh, th th this quest was kind of lengthy but I'm actually I'm doing like two or three quests here at the same time so the EXP is pretty nice and as you see, like I was mentioned earlier, the guy was ahead of me. So he's cleared out the area. And there you can see him up ahead <laughs> over there. And I eventually catch up to him, as you'll see here in a little while. And you know, like, I would have grouped with this guy, but <clears throat> he was already uh, a little bit ahead of me. You know, so I just let him go ahead. But he didn't seem like he wanted to group with me at all. And. That is one thing uh, you know, that's kind of strange about this game. I, I guess this game is really attracting a huge, you know, WoW, you know, crowd because most of the people here seem to be former WoW players. At least in this beta, uh, you know, er, uh, the the chat was constantly about WoW and how this or that about WoW and how this game is exactly like it. And you know, I mean, it, it's it's true. It's just it's quite a bit like it and uh, they've taken quite a bit from it and uh, you know I won't blame them 
Uh, here, I finally caught up with the guy. And you see, he, he won't even help. I, I tried to help him here, you know, and I thought I would help him and get the extra mobs that were attacking him. And, it, and he just stands there like an a-hole. But, uh, you know, I, I guess I did my d good deed for the day. I, You know, he, he, he was clearing them out for me for so long. And, uh, you know, I, I tried to help him out, you know, pay him back a little bit. But, you know, that's what I was saying. The community is just very similar to WoW. I mean, this, so far, the large base of players seem to be from WoW. And, uh, you know, there are MMOs where the community is so, so different. Like, uh, City of Heroes, that's one little game I play on the side sometimes. And the community there is, you know, they're they're very adult. And if you I tried, to, I tried to act like you do in WoW or like, a, there's, you know, not you, but somebody else. If, you tried to act, if somebody tried to act like that over there, uh, they would be banned so fast that their head would swim. And the community would completely not accept that. But over here, and in WoW, and in quite a, most MMOs have a WoWish crowd, but WoW definitely has the worst of it all. I mean, <laughs> you know, just sit and trade chat one, you know, one uh, minute, and you'll know exactly. And anyway, we finished those quests, killing the, the name mobs, collecting the the totems, and here we are. We have did some raids with the rifts, and... Uh, we're going to turn these quests in, and I'm going to finish up this video here. Much more to come. And uh, this has been The Gamer Down, and I'm your host, Dark Hostess. We'll see you next time.